Okay, so back in the workshop, uh, we've got the pieces of wood on last time, so the extensions that we'd made, or the flanges that will help us join to the master bed uh, that's already in the boat. And then what we've got is this glue here. We've used some PU glue just to attach these and some screws. So first job of the day is to get rid of this PU glue. This should just come off with a chisel. So we need to get rid of all of this excess PU glue that we've got here. And I think we've got a bit on this side as well. And then what we'll do is come in and we've got to round some of these corners. So we've just got to come in with a sander and just sand some of these corners, get us a, a radius here. And then what we'll do is come in with some Duratec and get some Duratec on here as well. And then also we're gonna give this a light sand. So we've already sanded this piece here. I think we came in with some 320 on here and that's turned out nice. We've got a nice smooth finish there. The plan is, is to get this as smooth as we can and then we'll come in with another layer of Duratec. I think we're gonna try and spray it with a spray gun this time so that we just get a little bit better finish. So we can get this nice and flat and then we'll come in with a spray gun, hopefully with some more Duratec and get a better finish still. And we just need to come in and hand sand uh, all of these corners and all around here where it's a little bit tighter. This Duratec actually sands really well. It's really easy to sand. So we can quite happily sand this uh, by hand and it won't take too long. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so we've done the first round of sanding. We've had about two and a half hours on here with the 320 grit, and that's come out really nice. We've got a nice smooth finish here. Uh, we've got some low spots. So we've got a low spot here where there'd been a, a hole drilled previously, and a low spot over here and here, and then where we've got the extension pieces, these extension flanges that we've added afterwards. We've come in and filled the screw holes and the joints, 
and all the corners as well. So we we'll just need to come in now and fill and sorry, sand those. Just got the little three kilowatt heater here, just helping this go off. It is eight degrees outside, so really cold. So this should just help that set up. And then we've got over here just a bit more filler down here and up here. And then we've just got some little touch up pieces here on the shower tray. So we're definitely making progress. This is a, a lot better than when, obviously than when we first started. And then what we'll do is get this all sanded uh, to the best finish we can. And then we'll come in with some more Geurotech. I think we're hoping to spray it this time, uh, get a, a better finish again. And then we'll be able to come in with some finer sandpapers and get it to that really nice finish that we need. Sanding's done, so this is looking really nice now. Got all these corners done up here and also over on this side. So what we've done is just set up the little compressor here. We've got a little spray gun with a two mil nozzle. What we're gonna do is mix up some Duratec and we'll mix that with some thinners and then we'll give this uh, probably four or five, maybe six coats. Just keep, just keep layering it on, let it flash off and then apply another coat. Uh, we're still going to do some more, need to do some more filling, I'm sure, but it's pretty good now. But what will happen is when we come in with the Duratec, we'll see some more craters and hollows, I'm sure, and some low spots and high spots. So we'll probably just have to come in with the filler again and get those out. But yeah, it's starting to look good now.
Morning guys, beautiful morning here in the UK. Lovely warm winter's morning. Mm. Spring. Spring morning. Spring nearly. Yeah. First of March coming. So what's the plan? What do we think? Oh, we're quite pleased, aren't we, with the amount of time we've spent on it, I think. I think the plan is to mark the divots and fill them and a couple of areas that need flatting, isn't there? And yes. then it just needs a good old flat everywhere and then another coat of Durabuild. I'd say it's about 80-90% there, isn't it? I think, yeah. I think just I'm, a bit of finishing. I think up. we should, if it goes well, we should be able to mould it next week. Yeah, be nice. That's the hope. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, so we've just got some little areas where we've got some nicks in it, uh, but they're fairly small. Let's see, I hope the camera picks them up, but we've got something here and just a little bit rough just here and on the back here, but it's all minor stuff now, so it's, it is looking a lot better after, after that sprayed coat of Duratec. So what we're going to do is Rich has got a, uh, a marker. Marker. It's a uh, water-based marker. So we're just going to go around, mark all the little areas that we need to fill, um, and then we'll fill those. Come in hopefully for a final sand and uh, another coat of Duratec. That's the plan anyway. Let's see how we go. So the filler's on, so we've come in marked with the white marker where we thought all the low points were or any little nicks and bits of damage. And then we've just come in and just laid filler up all over it. Uh, to be honest with you, it now looks a right mess. But uh, what we'll do now is sand this and hopefully we'll get it back to, we think actually with this coat of filler, we should pretty much not need to fill it again. We'll, we'll sand all this down, see how it looks. We might just need to pop Bit of filler down this back edge, we think maybe, uh, but other than that, we are 99% there, we think, and then we'll be able to come in with a hopefully final coat of Durabuild. So sanding is done, we had about three hours on the sanding I think it was, but we've got this now to a really nice finish. I'm really happy with this. So what we've done is just given it a quick dust down with the air compressor and then we've given it a wipe with acetone as well. And then we're just setting up the Duratec now and we'll get some more coats of Duratec on, hopefully for the final time.
Our head's shower plug is looking really nice. Really happy with this. So we put in uh, or put on another two coats of the Duratec. And we're pretty happy with this, aren't we? We are pretty happy. Still a little bit of fettling to do. Yes. But minor bits now compared to when you think about the state it was in. Yeah. It was, it was in bad. a state. Was, so yeah. to be getting here on what, three days work? Yeah. We've been into this. Yeah. It's pretty close to being able to take a mould. Yeah, so we've just spotted just down this back edge here. We're still not happy with this sort of internal radius. So we've got a really nice radius over here. And because this is going to be seen, we just want to just fettle this slightly. We just want to come in with a bit more filler there. But a similar thing just on this back corner. So we're just going to come in with a bit more filler on there. And then we've just got a couple of little defects in this shower tray. So I think we've got a pinhole here, a little crater there and a little crater over here but i mean overall i mean we're nitpicking aren't we now <laughs> we really are looking for stuff now we just want it to be right yeah because a lot of this is on show unlike the bed where you don't really see, see any it. of it yeah this is all on show so it's got to be right yeah we want it um, we want it spot on and, and we will get it spot on it's close and then we're just going to come in down here as well just got to we were going to pass the this but actually while we're filling we might as well just come in we've got a little contour a sanding tool that we can use to get all these corners nice so we're going to come in and fill these as well and then i think we'll just have to hit it with one more coat of duratec yeah and then i think we're there aren't or just we? patches yeah otherwise we're gonna to have to sand the whole thing back again yes so yeah it doesn't like going on after does it? no but this this part here is pretty well i mean this is perfect now um all along here is absolutely perfect um, this here we'll be using plasticine, so we're not too concerned about that. We've just got a very small low spot there, which we think we'll get that out as well. But overall, it's looking really nice. And then we'll be able to come in with some wet and dry once we've got this absolutely how we want it. And um, get it wet and flattered. Flattered. And polished. Get the machine on it. And then we're gonna we're gonna take the mold off it. We've decided we're gonna take the mold and then we're gonna take it over to our fiberglass specialist for them to actually produce the part. But um, to move this now would be quite risky. <laughs> Scary. Yeah. <laughs> if we needed to move this on the forks with the tractor, then in the van, we just we Gonna can't crack. afford to damage it or crack it. So it actually makes sense to leave it on this table and then um, we'll do the we'll take the mold, won't we? We will. And let the let the other guys do the uh, do the part for us. Right, hope you enjoyed today's video, guys. If you did, give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you on the next one.